Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad, the exact model is a Lenovo ThinkPad E15 Gen 2. They come with a Gen 1, Gen 2 and Gen 3, I don't know if they have a Gen 4 yet, but this is a Gen 2. And in this video I'm going to cover up how you can open it up and how you can remove the storage, add the extra storage and what are the combinations that you can have and the limits that you can have on this laptop. Just remember, if you replace the main storage, this one comes with a 500 gig, if you replace the main storage, you have to reinstall the Windows again on the new SSD. I made a really short video how to create your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. Also, I made another video how to properly install Windows on your Lenovo laptop. Follow those insta installation steps so you don't get all those extra bloatware installed on the Windows. And with every few Windows updates, all the drivers will be set, ready to go under 10 minutes. All right, again, this video is just how to open, how to add and remove. But if you want to keep your main storage, Windows, everything, you just want to add extra storage, that power is, uh, is covered in this video. So first thing first, power off the laptop. If you want to replace the main storage, back up your files, flip it upside down, Grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. We are going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get a Pro set, they will give you opening tools and tweezers, a few other stuff. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. So down here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. What we're we going to do, all these screws, they have a little C-lock on them, so it doesn't matter how, long, how much you rotate. It will not come out, it will just make click click sounds and that's it. The reason is because there is a little round C-lock we call them on the other side of the screw that will prevent the screw coming out. And the benefit of the C-lock is that will help you to separate the bottom case from the palm rest. As you can see right in here, there's no gap opening or anything like that. So as soon as I start rotating and you're going to see that gap opening right in there. I'll do a few more turns and that's it. So you want to do that for all around for all the screws, just rotate a few extra turns and that's it, don't sit there rotating the screw, otherwise you're gonna be sitting there for days. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. There we go, let me remove or unscrew them. What you're gonna do down here is to put the opening tool right in there, about two or three millimeters, and just pretty much lift it like this upward. You don't want to lift it inward, you want to lift it upward, outward pretty much, I don't know, whatever. You can do it inward too, but it's easier to do outward. So I stick it and then pretty much like that, go close to the HDMI port and then lift it so you can escape those ports. So it doesn't yank the port. Do the left and do the right side. Uh, once you're done with that, there's a tiny hook in the middle, so you want to grab it from the side in here, and then you just want to yank it upward. I, I don't know if you guys heard that. There's a tiny hook that grabs it from the side of the battery. Walk it around, and it will release the backside. The hook is right over here, and grabs it right from this end of this side of the battery. Okay. All right, down here we can see the main SSD in here is Kynix brand at 512 gig. It's an NVMe Gen 4, and they have a Gen 3 right over here. They actually give you nice. They give you a screw room for it. So you can upgrade this one without disconnecting the battery. Absolutely not required. You can go in the BIOS, try to find the configuration for the battery and disconnect it, disable it in there, but is not needed. All right. Let's say you, first scenario, let's say you want to keep that 500 gigabyte because you have programs that you don't want to touch and you, you just want to keep it, leave it there. All right. Now, to add an extra M.2, you can grab any M.2 NVMe up to 4 terabyte single sided or 2 terabyte. I, I don't put a 2 terabyte, but if you want to go to 4 terabyte, I think the crucial makes a 4 terabyte a single sided chip. I'll explain that in a second. But I really recommend you guys to go with that 980 Pro up to two terabyte, or this is, they come with a 980 Pro, 970 Plus, and then basic 980. Go with a 980 Pro, they're really durable and they will last many years. You can put a two terabyte in here. And what I'm saying about the single side, double sided is this. 
If this is a Skynex, I don't have a Samsung, I have the boxes only. So these are the chips on the NVMe. So if you get at one terabyte or two terabyte, there will be more chips and controllers right on the board. But on this side, it's empty or straight and empty. And that means single-sided chip, that means all the chips has to be on one side of the board, nothing on the other side. So I know that um, Crucial makes that four terabyte with all those components on single on one side and nothing on the other side. I know that Samsung makes a four terabyte but has a double-sided NVMe and double-sided will not sit there. You, if you put a double-sided chip in here and you push it down, it will damage the jack. So you have to make sure it's a single-sided jack and the NVMe has one notch and you can see a one notch right on the dim right in there. Um, it's kind of hard, it's tiny. So first thing first, you want to remove the screw and you want to bring the NVMe in 45 degree inside the jack and you want to push it all the way in so all the pins are in there and then the NVMe just lays down flat and the screw holes matches and all you need to do is to tighten up the screw and there you have it. So put a two terabyte, four terabyte, whatever you want in here. Now, if you want to remove this one, this is a long standard size. This one is a short uh, NVMe. Again, you can change this one for a two terabyte, one terabyte. Same thing, remove one screw right in here. And there's a thermal pad on the other side. So what I'm gonna do, I can put my nail there. I'm just gonna lift it up a little bit. It just snapped that thermal pad. So I'll move this cable out of the way. You can grab it and slide it backward. There's a thermal pad right in here. You can put a 0.5 millimeter thermal pad underneath to absorb the heat from the, uh, what do you call the NVMe, but it's not necessary. It won't do anything unless you go four terabyte. All right, same thing, it has one notch. There is no standoff or space for it to go over because of these fans right in here. To put it back in, in 45 degree angle, in there, and put the screw right. There we have it, and just tighten up, put this cable around it, and that's it. Uh, this is for demonstration, actually I'm not gonna put, place this NVMe right in there. So, Lift it up in 35 degree, not too much, otherwise you're gonna break it. Slide it back and tighten up the screw right over. All right, once you finish with this one, you wanna grab the bottom case and you wanna put it right over. And what you wanna do, you just wanna tie, screw it down the screws and it will pull the bottom case to itself. Press in the middle so you can get that hook right on the battery. If you have disconnected the battery, you have to plug it back in, just remember. And that should be all. Just remember, you need to your windows if you remove your main storage. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Also, if you see any gaps opening like this, right in here, you can just pinch them together and it will go to it. Place by the, in the corner, DVD drive, I mean DVD, HDMI port right in here. It's not focusing. Focus, there. So pinch, it goes to its place, there we have it. And thanks for watching, and that powers up today's video.